whether we bring back a piece of hardware or not, because not a single individual was hurt. Uh, there was no damages, nothing at all, and that always is a very successful trip as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but they also went the step farther this time, and uh, we split up into four teams. There were two teams that built solar vehicles, and you can see the solar vehicle outside. Um, it's much smaller than probably what you're used to seeing from us. And that's because this is a new type of competition. It's an energy efficiency competition. So it's how far you can go on as little energy as possible. Uh, I believe that we equated in energy doing about uh, 387 miles to the gallon of gas is our equivalent. So um, that's pretty good. And as far as we're concerned, if the sun's out, we can go on forever. So. Uh, uh, that, that's, that's very darn good. Two cars or two vehicles also were put into the electric uh, division and uh, they did not take the first place, but they fared very well. Um, we did come back, as mentioned uh, by Ms. Pizzo, with the, and it states it right on here, the solar prototype champion of the Americas. And here's why, and why I'm always so proud of the kids. As a matter of fact, those of you who have had children in my classes or have heard about me, I always thank the parents for allowing their kids to come to me. I'm so proud of them, and this is another group of children besides my students that I'm proud of. They actually beat colleges, and colleges from Brazil, as far south as Brazil, <coughs> some from Colombia, from some uh, Mexico, and so on, as far north as uh, Canada. 
So this was the entire competition for the Americas that our kids competed in, and they took a first place. Just to give you an example, a couple of the schools they, built, they beat uh, in the solar prototype division, I don't know if you've heard of them, RPI is one of them. We beat Rice University was another, University of Montana was another one. Just a few of the schools that we had the privilege of walloping on. Uh, and that's always pleasant. I'm not sure we're going to be invited back though when we do that. Uh, but they, they were absolutely fantastic. Um, the race itself was spread over five days. Um, I, I really appreciate what the Board of Ed did because we took, uh, and, and Mary Lou Botsford, and, and just a whole bunch of people up here, because we had to take a permission slip that they had sent us and altered it a little bit. The uh, attorney uh, helped us do that so that it was acceptable both for Newburgh as well as uh, Shell Eco Marathon. Uh, you know, because everybody wants to be covered, and that's understandable. And yet, we were still able to get down there and compete in this race. The kids loved it. Uh, I drove back up. Uh, it took me about 28 hours to drive back from uh, Houston, Texas. The kids and some of the advisors flew up. And before I was able to get back up here, those kids had already already registered us for next year's uh, Shell <laughs> the Marathon. That's how much fun they had. Uh, Shell Oil Company sponsors this, which is really a pleasant surprise because they give us uh, mileage, which is very helpful. They supply all the meals, and this year we took advantage of their accommodations, which is in this huge conference center. Uh, they lay out mats, and we were actually allowed to indoor camp up there. Uh, so threw up tents, uh, all 28 of the kids and the four adults, and we slept on the mats in tents and all, so it really just uh, cost the kids uh, transportation. And as always, and I'm very proud of this because it's a policy that you hold to, uh, we allowed the kids to raise their money. Those kids who couldn't afford it were allowed to raise their money to go on this trip, and we actually had two individuals that did that through various different fundraising events, and we supported them in that. So we're always open to anybody participating in it. We, we love it. Uh, this, I feel, and most of you know me, and I've been involved for many years, is the the greatest trophy we've ever brought home. It really, really is. And uh, we're very proud of it. I'm glad the kids had fun in it. We won't be doing the cross-country races anymore in the bigger vehicles, just to let you know. Um, our car was getting up to 60 and 65 miles an hour. I, I think that's risky, especially out on the road when the kids build the car. But this is an event where it's not for speed. It's, you know, energy efficiency. We probably average about 20 miles an hour total so it's a really great competition for our kids and I hope we do go back next year again I thank you for the support uh, there was money in the budget that always helps I know things get tight uh, but I thank you for your support I, I thank you for being forgiving in many ways uh, especially on my part when I have a trailer parked right out in the no parking zone of your parking lot here and all but um, you know we appreciate all of your help we should all be proud of these kids uh, it wasn't just me and or my wife, uh, it's the school district that produced these kids. So uh, with that, I'm going to bring it to an end. We brought back, okay, we did bring something back for you. My wife will uh, tell you what that is. Um, where I, I'm an English teacher, so I do more civic instruction and, and verb tense instruction than I do how many kilowatt hours and what's mass over gravity. But my favorite thing, and why this was my favorite race, and I've been involved for 10 years as well with, with our kids here in this district, is I'm in charge of bed checks in the evening because Mr. Ekus gets very upset if all of the ducks aren't in a row and all of those things. So I go and I do a bed check, and several of our children were missing. Now, they were in, they couldn't get out of the convention center, but still they weren't adhering to the rules. So I had another student text our four missing students, and when they came back sulking and came to the tents, and I, as I was admonishing them for their bad behavior, I said, and where were you? They said, well, Brazil's car hasn't been running yet, and we're already two days into the race, and they came all this way, and they may not be able to participate at all. So our kids were helping their competition just to be able to participate. And participate they did, if it wasn't for the help of our students staying up, breaking curfew, even with the, the fear of Corsicas coming down on them. They, they risked that peril to help these other kids to participate. And to me, that's one of the larger stories, is how, I mean, now it's an international 
yeah, we're, we're here because it's for the good of all of us worldwide, not just to bring a trophy home, not just to get out of school or out from underneath mommy's thumb for a week. And for me, that was probably my proudest moment. So we, did, we couldn't bring you back a lot of Texas, but I, we did bring everybody back a little bit of Texas in the form of the Texas flower. So you can plant this. I don't know if it will come back every year for you. It hasn't come back for me yet. But so you, I mean, it's not much, but again, we do appreciate any and all support that you give us. So. Thank you. We certainly thank you, Chris, and your lovely wife. Uh, you make a dynamic duo, and uh, we thank you for the presentation in, uh, in tonight, and also for the, the great trip to Houston, Texas. And uh, we look forward to our kids working again next year. Thank you very much. Sure. That ends my part tonight on, on this particular section. Be it resolved that the board hereby recesses into executive session for the following purpose, to review the employment history of particular individuals. The board will be taking action after the executive session. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Second, please. change orders associated with approved projects, NFA <coughs> renovation, NFA auto body and HOH renovation, HOH masonry and concrete restoration, Hales Gate renovation projects set one and set two, and the Gardner County renovation project. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? 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 Yes. Mr. Lev
with Glenn Scott K, MDPC, for the provision of state mandated medical services to work as a school physician and collaborating physician to the district. I have a motion, please. So, second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Nevesty? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perka? Yes. Mrs. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Madam President, we would ask approval to add a resolution to uh, the agenda. I have a motion to add the resolution to the agenda, please. Second. Roll call. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Lepersi? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perka? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodall? Yes. Item C is a resolution to approve facility use uh, request uh, for the use of school district facilities at Valesgate School pursuant to the request submitted by New Life Worship Center. May I have a motion, please? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Yes. Thank you, Madam President. Okay. The Next on the agenda is the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, my first item is a resolution to approve space usage agreements and to authorize the Superintendent of Schools to execute agreements with community providers for employment, preparation, education, program services. Funding source is the EPI program. So moved. <laughs> Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Excuse me. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perka? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. My next item is a uh, resolution to approve conference requests. I have a motion, please. So moved. Second. Second. Questions or comments? <laughs> My next item is a resolution to approve the participation of the MFA cheerleaders to attend an overnight trip to National Cheerleading Association Camp at Lake Bar, Owensdale, Pennsylvania from August 20th through the 23rd, 2012. Funding source, general fund, athletics budget, and booster club. I have a motion, please. So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perkash? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Wood? Yes. That concludes my items. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Next on our agenda is the Assistant Superintendent of Finance. And happy birthday, Mike. Thank you, President. <laughs> uh, first item resolution authorizes the Superintendent of Schools to execute agreement with the Anderson Center for Autism to provide <laughs> educational services for the 2012 13 school year to the district students. May I have a motion, please? Second. Questions and comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Item B is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with J and D Ultra Care Corp to provide nursing services for the 2012-2013 school year to district students. I have a motion, please. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard. Yes. Mr. Lawson. Yes. Mr. Levinsky. Yes. Mrs. McAfee. Yes. Mr. Kosh. Yes. Mr. Rash. Yes. Mr. Woodman. Yes. Sir. yes sir. Item C is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute the initial 2012-2013 contract with Ulster Bosis to provide cooperative educational services. I have a motion, please. I move. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Resch? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. Item D is a resolution to authorize payment of a property tax refund as a result of the court order. And as mentioned at workshop, this amount of money of $18,706.96 will come out of the tax certiorari reserve fund balance. May I have a motion, please? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhull? Yes. 
Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Wilcox? Yes. Mr. Rush? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Item D is a resolution to approve the monthly bills and reports. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Burkash? Yes. Mrs. Rash? Yes. Mr. Wilcox? Yes. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Thank you. Next is Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. Thank you, Madam President. On the Human Resources Agenda, items A through I, we have on the professional side, change of locations, change of status, return from leave of absence, and on the civil service side, we have appointments, change of location, change of status, return from leave of absence, designations, <coughs> termination, and a former employee who passed away. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Burkhart? Yes. Mrs. Rash? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? <coughs> Resolution J is to designate individuals eligible for appointment depending on student enrollment and attendance to positions for the extended school year program. These are additional um, appointments for the current summer school program. Can I have a motion, please? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mrs. Burkash? Yes. Mrs. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Resolution K is to approve the appointments as per the negotiated agreements between the district and the Newburgh Teachers Association for the curriculum chair positions. Madam President, I would ask that there be a correction to item six in that resolution to reflect the name of Karen Roberts. So noted. Thank you. Thank you. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Burkash? Yes. Ms. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Resolution L is to approve the revised job description listing the additional duties for the Executive Director for Curriculum and Instruction and the Executive Director for Human Resources. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Sir. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Perkoff? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodward? Yes. There's a revised M resolution on the table. Resolution M reads, be it resolved, that upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education of the Newburgh and Large City School District, Hereby approve stipends for Michael McElmore, Sr., Executive Director for Human Resources, and Dr. Daniel Shanahan, Executive Director for Curriculum and Instruction, effective July the 18th, 2012, for assuming additional duties and responsibilities in accordance with their revised job descriptions as presented on the attachment hereto, which is incorporated with and made part of this resolution. The funding source for the stipends are fully funded from the Systemic Supports and School Turnaround Grant. I have a motion, please. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mrs. Brokosh? Yes. Mrs. Rash? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. There's also a revised resolution N on the table. Res resolution N reads, be it resolved upon the recommendation of the superintendent of schools that the Board of Education of the Newburgh and Large City School District hereby approves the job description for assistant superintendent for school improvement as presented to the board at this meeting and be it further resolved that the Board of Education hereby approves the change in title for Ed Forget from the assistant superintendent for curriculum and instruction to assistant superintendent for school improvement effective July the 18th, 2012, and authorizes the board president to execute an addendum, addendum agreement 
to the contract with Mr. Fortune reflecting the change in his title. I have a motion, please. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Wilhelm? Yes. Madam President, at this point, we would ask to table resolution O that appears on the agenda. May I have a motion, please? Second. Second. Okay, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Whittle? Yes. Madam Vice President, I was corrupted. Um, we would need a resolution to add resolution P to the agenda, which is to appoint an acting principal. May I have a motion, please, to add resolution P? Resolution P. Sorry. Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Lancaster? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Garcott? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Whittle? Yes. Resolution P grants Beverly Johnson a leave of absence from her position as an assistant principal in the assistant principal tenure area and further appoints Beverly Johnson to the position of acting principal on a contract basis um, effective August the 1st, 2012, terminating on June the 30th, 2013. I have a motion, please. So Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. French? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Includes my others. Thank you. Next on the agenda is clerk of the board. Thank you. Um, for the board approval tonight, we're at one set of meeting minutes, and that would be the annual organization meeting, July 3rd, 2012. May I have a motion, please? So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Lindsay? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Rash? Yes. Mr. Yes. Yes. Next on the agenda is public discussion and comment on non agenda items. Be there none? We have a motion to adjourn. So Yes. Thank you and have a nice evening.